How are you doing guys? Zeta here. So today I wanted to talk about Doom Eternal and uh, basically I have a bit of a question for you all and uh, maybe you could answer it, maybe you could tell me it as well. Uh, I personally do not know because I have tried to do, well I, it's not like I have tried, I actually did a lot of research regarding uh, Doom, Doom Eternal, both of them uh, back in 2016 and, and uh, the one that will be coming out of course. Uh, okay, perhaps maybe I should start from the beginning and uh, that would make more sense, right? So basically when I was younger, I wasn't much of a gamer back then. I was like maybe I was maybe 11, 12 when I first time encountered what truly is a uh, video game is, right? So basically, yeah, I came into the generation of gaming a little bit later than the most of the people Well, perhaps not most but a lot of people and um, Doom back then was out and uh, it was one of those very old Dooms I'm talking about but by the comparison sake of that Doom I really don't see how this is how this is similar to it I really don't because like I believe that back then the Doom game was a lot more freakier horror like and uh, terror right but now as I'm looking through it it's just a mindless fun shooter uh, crazy fast paced first person and you know what bloody gore you know it's bloody amazing I love this sort of types of games and I play so many of them but for some odd reason, when I have tried to play Doom, and by the way, it was actually in 2019 I ended up first time actually playing Doom, one of the main reasons why I did not like, because the scheme controls, I did not like the layout. That was one my one mistake of it, because, you know, I kind of uh, pushed it away from me, sort of, sort of safe, that's correct wording anyway. And uh, basically I didn't give it a chance of continuing playing. That's one mistake I personally think. The second mistake is actually because of the... Ah, well, I kind of started criticizing the way you kind of had to find all these elements, all these things around the environment so you can progress through the levels or through the story, right? Well, story, I, I say that cautiously, it's story. Like, you know, if you really play Doom for a story, I don't think that you would be all, you know, great, you know, will be willing for all that great. <laughs> but anyway, it's just basically what I'm trying to say. The game is bloody amazing. The game play. That's what I'm talking about. And that's why people buy it as well, because it's such a fun uh, roller coaster of a uh, ride, personally, for them as well. I, well, I think anyway, it's personal opinion, of course. But as I'm looking at all these trailers, as crazy as they are, I really love what I'm seeing. And something about it that just simply pushes me away from me actually getting it and uh, enjoying it for myself. This is why I'm not gonna be getting Doom Eternal on day one. Why I'm saying day one, because I don't want to say forever. Because I really doubt that I'm not gonna get this game forever because I ended up getting Doom in 2019, even though it came out in 2016. But I didn't really enjoy it, even though I actually made a review video of it. Well, it wasn't really a review, more of my first impressions. I, I, in fact, I did not enjoy so much that I simply didn't even continue playing or finishing the game. I really didn't want to bother with it. That, it's just. It's just real deal. I, I don't know why that is the case anyway. And uh, what I'm seeing here and uh, doing Doom Eternal is more of the same, but done in a lot of more improved ways. My thing is, I want to get into this game and know how to play it already. I don't want to relearn the whole thing, you know, by the control schemes, right? The button layout, because like. There was something awkward about it, basically, well, uh, like, I personally expect, you know, first-person shooters to be similar kind of, like, Battlefield as an example, Call of Duty, and, you know, the bottom scheme controls. But that's just more of a complaint, this nitpicking shit, isn't it? And I agree with you if you would tell me that, because I personally think when I'm looking at this, I just really want to get my hands into this experience and play the hell out of it and enjoy it and i just just want to see why they're getting so much praise and i personally don't know since i i don't believe i gave it a proper chance and that's just my big mistake i personally think so uh, Doom Eternal, I'm still, of course, like I already talked and just mentioned, I'm not going to be getting it on day one, but I'm thinking I'm get, I think I might get it later on, and uh, maybe when I'm be you know willing to give it a chance. But still, Doom Eternal is actually coming out in March, uh, a couple of weeks after that. It, pfft, couple days I wish you even say actually because like there will be Resident Evil 3 coming out after then 
uh, well of course they delayed the Final Fantasy 7 remake as well man the games fucking hell that's gonna be absolutely insane how much <laughs> how much time we're gonna have to put a oh my god it's gonna be crazy now personally Doom Eternal seems like a good game uh, looks like a ton of fun but something about it that just it kind of keeps me torn, if that's the good way of saying it. Well, alright then. Now, I'm not gonna drag this video to 10 minutes mark, it's ridiculous, I don't have much to say anything else other than I have already talked a little bit about, and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna put you through hell of getting this damn video and just simply dragging this conversation for no apparent reason uh, up to the 10 minutes mark, so it's ridiculous. So, at this, uh, at this point, I'm going to let you go now, and uh, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, as always, uh, do check a look, take a look at my special videos uh, in my playlist, I put a lot of time and effort into them and they are fantastic, I personally think so, a lot of people think so as well, when they have written down the comments on top of that, and uh, yeah, just do uh, take a look at them, they're pretty damn fantastic, again, and uh, yeah, have a good one guys.